Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Faiz Alam working as a functional consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP is a tech company providing technological solutions across the globe. In today's session, we will be having an overview of the fixed asset management and uh, we will also know how an uh, asset can be created in our Oracle NetSuite application. So let's start. First, we will get to know what is the asset lifecycle management. So asset lifecycle management is the process by which uh, the optimization of profit generated by the asset is kept by the organization throughout its life. Uh, the life cycle of an asset includes the depreciation, adjustment, its repairs, and the upgrades that are performed for the uh, on the assets. If I talk about the effect asset management, so it uh, automates the process of tracking assets through the various stages in its life cycle. Uh, fixed asset management is a software through which uh, uh, we can have the various stages in the asset life cycle, which includes uh, uh, which includes I would say uh, the uh, uh, purchasing of the asset, its maintenance, uh, depreciation, impairment. Uh, revaluation and lastly the disposal. Uh, if I talk about the NetSuite application, so under the NetSuite, uh, fixed asset management allows us the flexibility of easy reporting and tracking the records. Uh, asset information and records are all can be found at one place with the help of this uh, software. Uh, it is a completely integrated uh, asset management system and it enables us to maintain and control the complete asset life cycle from creation to retirement. It improves efficiency and financial strength in business by maintaining its existing assets by avoiding the unnecessary equipment purchases and upgrades. Um, if, the, if I talk about the fixed asset life cycle, the, the, the first step in this uh, cycle is planning. First, uh, uh, which kind of asset is to be purchased or acquired in the organization, the planning for which is made in the organization, keeping in view the needs of it. And then the next step is procuring the asset or I would say the acqui acquisition of the asset. The asset is acquired in two ways. The first way is uh, we can purchase the asset or the other way around is uh, we can take it on lease. So this is how an asset can be procured in the organization. Next step we would be having is the consumption or I would say the utilization of the asset for which it is acquired like for generating incomes or revenue in the organization. So the next process is consumption. Uh, after the purchasing the required upgrades and preliminary checks or inspections is being taken up and then the depreciation is charged, depreciation is charged on the asset just to know the i would say the generating uh, just for generating the incomes for the organization and uh, the to see whether the company is having any gain or loss and uh, the uh, ultimate uh, aim of depreciation is to uh, know the true uh, fair value of the asset at the end of its useful life after uh, consumption and depreciation we would be having the repair and maintenance of the asset as the continuous use of asset will put it into the wear and tear situation for which repairs and maintenance is required. So modifications and upgrades are done over here to make the asset more faster and better. This will improve the uh, maintenance and repairing and upgrades and all uh, will improve the quality of the work. And after the planning is done, the acquisition is um, done, consumption and depreciation is being made, maintenance have also been taken up. The, the last stage in the asset life cycle is the disposal of the asset, which is an important concern. So asset can be disposed of in two ways. There are two ways in which an asset can be disposed of. The first is uh, uh, it can be sold out. Uh, when we get to know that the asset is no longer useful in the organization, we can sell it with the value where it is carrying uh, uh, it and in the other way around is we can dispose it off from the accounting records of the organization. So this is how the uh, asset life cycle uh, works in the organization. Moving on to the NetSuite application. 
So under the NetSuite application, fixed asset management provides us with the power to eliminate the spreadsheet and manual efforts of creating efforts. It has, you know, uh, reduced the chances of these uh, kind of errors. So it also allows us the flexibility to select which accounting period to depreciate the asset. And uh, I would say the fixed asset management allows uh, fixed asset management control all the asset uh, related transactions that includes asset creation, depreciation, revaluation, transfer, and at the end disposal of the uh, assets. So for having uh, for creating our next concern that is creating an asset for which we will be going under the fixed asset. Uh, fixed asset transactions. Sorry, fixed assets, setup and account types and new. So here uh, a, a FAM asset type window has opened up before uh, over here. So for which we have to provide the information for which uh, asset we are going to create. Like I would be taking here machinery and description. I would take it uh, the same thing over here. Accounting method. Accounting method, I would say, is usually the depreciation method. Which depreciation method are we going to take or uh, apply? Uh, we want to apply on this particular asset. So I I will be taking here the straight line uh, depreciation method. Residual percentage. Which percentage at which percentage we want this asset to be depreciated? For which I will be taking here 10 percent. Asset lifetime. Uh, is usually I would say I will be taking here 10 years. So these are all the mandatory fields after going down, uh, going down, we are having these sub tabs. So under the notes, uh, under the notes that we are having note, uh, under the sub tab, we are having notes. If we want to mention any notes and create any memo, we can provide it over here under the general sub tab. We have to mention whether the depreciation, the first field we are having is depreciation active. So either we want to uh, make this asset active for depreciation or not. So I'll be clicking here on true. Include in reports is like if we want to include this asset type under our report, so we can check mark over here. Revision rules are related with the revaluation rules for which we are having two options the current period and the remaining life for which I would be taking here current period. Depreciation rules is like uh, for which uh, from which stage do we want uh, this asset to be depreciated like there are uh, these options like acquisition disposal mid month or prorata for which I will be taking here acquisition. Depreciation method. Two options are available here monthly or uh, annually one, and uh, uh, which method, which period do we want to take like either we want to take uh, uh, depreciate it on a monthly basis or an or a yearly basis. So here I would be taking monthly. So custodian under the custodian the person who will be responsible for this uh, asset his name can be provided over here. Any supplier uh, name is required. Uh, we can give it over here under the disposable item. Usually it is taken as a non inventory item for that. I will be taking here financial year start. I would be taking here January. So these uh, these are the fields that are that I have uh, filled over here and going uh, next to the account section. We have to mention the account uh, asset account over here for which I would be taking machinery. Depreciation account is like uh, I would say again I will take here the machinery account. Depreciation charge account is like uh, uh, it is you know falling under the accumulated depreciation account. Under the right of account it is usually taken as uh, gain and loss on sale of account. Similarly under the write down account it is also taken here as gain and loss on sale of account disposable cost of account same thing would be taken in all these accounts like gain and loss on sale of asset asset account last checked in is like uh, if we were uh, when this asset uh, account has checked we can provide the date over here what we want to provide i'm not taking it here 
the next tab we would be having is the maintenance tab if we want this uh, asset to be inspected and if i check this box out uh, inspection so we have to mention the inspection period over here i'm not checking it right now any warranty is required to be provided we can check this mark and provide the warranty period as well and uh, after doing all these things after uh, filling all the required details i will be clicking here on save And here we can see that our account, uh, that our machinery account has been uh, uh, set over here for which we will be going under the list. So here we can see a machinery account, an internal ID is provided over here. So the machinery account is here. We can view it by clicking on the view tab. And we can see that this machinery account has been introduced under our FAM asset type. So these are all the information that we have given uh, for this asset type like my accounts, general information of the accounts and uh, the maintenance type as we have not selected anything over here. Another way around is fixed assets we can have the in, uh, information of this account under the fixed asset transaction and asset creation. So here we can see we have to uh, we have selected the machinery account. We have to select the subsidy in order to view the account. Like I would be selecting here BISP UK HQ America Mexico, and we can see its record under this new asset creation tab. So here we are having the you know fam asset type list over here we can see the internal id is given asset creation i have made it but it is under queue it, the status is shown under the progress so i will be clicking here on refresh tab Going back to the list. Here yeah, we are having this uh, machinery account which have, which we have just created now. So this is how we can create an asset type under our NetSuite application. In case of any questions or queries, uh, you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you for watching.